You guys got your radio on? Yeah, we're here. You hear that plane? Get ready. Alright, we're hooking it up. You guys got waders on and everything? Yeah, we're all good. I've been working for California Waterfowl for the last eight years off and on. Um, I've been doing the rock netting for about the last eight years as well. There's a lot of stress involved um, when you get ready to take a shot. You know, a lot of stuff can go wrong, and uh, you know it's just real exciting when the, when you get a chance to shoot the net, and uh, you know that adrenaline rush is still there after eight years of doing this. All right, shoot it. Yeah, we got something. So that's actually where we gotta get all the way around to. We had a good catch today. We we're targeting pintail. We caught 120 pintail, uh, eight um, green wing teal, one American widgeon, one gadwall, and uh, the famous shoveler. So when we uh, catch the birds, we do a wing and weight measurement, and that kind of gives us a proportion of the bird, so we can kind of get a proportion uh, with the two measurements of the general body condition of the birds, and then we can use that data and tie it into habitat conditions, you know, like drought and how that's affecting the body condition of these birds. Pintail are pretty important to California. We uh, winter about 75% of the Pacific Flyway population of pintail in the Sacramento, California Valley. Uh, they're just an important bird for California. It's important to uh, band them, keep track of them. Uh, the banding helps us, you know, with age ratios, harvest rates, uh, definitely helps with the migration so we can keep track of where these birds are actually coming from and eventually, you know, uh, just helps us make better informed decisions on the population and the hunting bag limits.